right, we checked in at the Cosmopolitan. We got the hot tub right here. We used this last night with some bubbles. This is like a little studio at the Cosmo. It's pretty sick. It's really big. Huge TV there. It's like your little living room area. Check out this view though. It's so nice. This for sure has to be one of the best views in Las Vegas. One, two, three over from the corner so we're right on the corner of the strip literally in the heart of like las vegas this is like the main part and then right here is the fountain or like the water show here it looks super sick hopefully they turn on right now this is amazing it's worth it for sure here for breeze 23rd birthday it's like a four hour four and a half hour drive from uh, orange county oh here goes the water show oh that looks so sick Some money <laughs> haven't lost any money yet 185 bucks <laughs> what's up guys i'm on my way to go fill up on some e85 and meeting one of my friends down there he just got his audi rs3 back from the shop i had it for a few weeks he got a, a few things done to it i'm not sure if he wants me to say anything about his car yet but uh last time we raced i actually uploaded a video of him and i racing when he was just on spark plugs and e85 and it was making like 540 or 530 to the wheel and uh, it was a close race. That's when my car was also running lean. So we'll see if we catch a run together. See how fast this car really is now since uh, mine's a little bit faster since the last time we raced. And his should be a lot faster now with everything that's done to it now. He got new wheels, suspension, and a bunch of other stuff. Dropped like 15 grand into it. So oh, like, oh my. you built all these up? Yeah, 60 bucks. <laughs> Stop filming the car. Close the hood. Oh, you don't want me to put this on there? I mean, you can. It's just a, I just got an intake. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, just an intake. Yeah. Dude, this thing is massive. That's uh, oh. four inches, six inches, and it's like Jesus. nine inches. Those R triple A R's look sick. Yeah. They At these good. wheels too. Is it gonna drop more from the front though? Yeah, it'll settle in just a little bit more. Yeah. The rear's settling in quicker because it's flat. Flat. Good man. All right, later, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's it sound? Is it loud? Was that Miltech? Yeah. I heard his truck louder, dude. Yeah. I don't know. So this thing's tuned, right? Oh yeah. And we're gonna get a run right now. Sure. Just to just to see how fast it is I'll now. Ah, no, 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 keep it high boost. I don't want no excuses if you lose. <laughs> right, what are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do, like a 40 to 140? I won't use rolling anti leg. Huh? I won't use rolling anti leg. Uh, I'll, I'll just break boost. I'm not gonna break boost, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you have some lag. <laughs> hey, turbo lag is false hope, bro. I'm gonna gap you and your little buddies in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I got 15 extra gallons of E85, bro. That's not what coaching whatsoever. I'm gonna turn up the boost. Sorry, James. I have to. I don't know how fast your car is.
I turned up the boost. <laughs> Stop it! 40, not 40, that's too low. No, it's not. Let's do a 45 at least. 45. Hey, you got the advantage, fast guy. What? Your car revs to like 8,000 RPMs. <laughs> you need to be high, anyways. Yes, it does. more in front of me what? so he can't see that I don't have a hood All right, right there <laughs> shout out to the guy at the gas station uh, with the truck the guy that was like uh, he's silent he was cool he was telling me that he watches the YouTube videos and uh, wanted a picture with me <laughs> that was pretty cool he has a 350z2 he was showing me photos of it in the garage that's dope. Yo, but that felt amazing though. The car felt quick. I turned up the boost, probably about two pounds more. I'm not sure how many pounds of boost I was hitting, but I'll have to look at this video when I'm done. But it's because this one's different. It's not just like, oh, set it to 17 PSI. It goes by like, I, I don't know how to say it, but it, it's at like 45 and then you move it up like 45, 46, 47. And then from there, you gotta f kind of figure out how many pounds of boost it is. But I've kind of figured out that every like two is like I think half or a, a pound So I don't know. I was probably on like I'm a guess you guys will see it in the video But I'm a guess 18 pounds or 17 pounds But it felt amazing. This thing was pulling <laughs>
got me on that. Oh, big ass flame. And my right ear hurts. I don't know what's going on though. My car keeps cutting out. Best runs I've had with this car, for sure, with these two. All right, right now it's the RS3 versus uh, M3. The M3 is quick too. I think beat my friend's GT2 RS. <laughs> The M3 is so loud. Damn. Jesus. That was good. James was a little in front right here at the beginning, but that M3's top end looked like it was picking up. That was a good run. Jesus. The M3 got him by a car on that one. Such a cool dude, super cool. He looks young too, he looks like he's like my age. That's so dope, he just got the car like four months ago, it's an AMG GTS. If you ever watched this video, it was nice meeting you Miguel. Those were probably one of the best runs I've ever had. Us three, we both don't know how much we're pushing because we were all street tuned. So none of us have been on a dyno, so we're not sure what we're making, but we're all like neck to neck. I don't know who's faster to be honest, Audi RS3, M3 or the Z. I have no idea, but just fun runs, no drama. That's what I like. That's why I really only like to run chill people, just so there's no drama between like, you know, racing. It's, I mean, we're all doing it just for fun. Well, at least I am. So those are the type of runs I like. We're all excited about the cars and how close the runs were. So it was super sick. I don't know what's done to the M3, but that thing is fast. And the RS3, I do know what's done to it, but James wants to keep his mods low key and stuff. It's a lot faster now. We caught some runs last time when his car was at like 530, 540 wheel. And then my car, I don't know what it was at, but it was leaning out bad. So our runs were like super close, like neck to neck. And then our cars are both faster now. We caught more runs and now our cars are neck to neck still. Like I thought he was gonna beat me. I was like, Damn, like this, this car is probably going to be a lot faster now, but like since I finished my tune, I turned up the boost and it runs a lot better now. Like both of our cars are still neck to neck. It's so funny. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. So I appreciate you guys for watching. There's going to be a lot more content like this coming. So stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, we're home from Vegas and Bree's gift just came in. Her birthday passed maybe like four days ago, but she's at work right now. I'm gonna be wrapping her present. And then I got a whole tank of helium. <laughs> that way I can fill in these balloons. And I got her some cheesecake because this is her favorite. 
and I couldn't find a cake last minute. I had literally like an hour to do this. The best looking numbers I could find. I had to get her one. That's what makes a birthday feel like more special than with these balloons. I wanted to get her the big balloons, the ones that say like 23 or whatever. You know, the big gold ones with the numbers because every girl likes those and she does too, but I only found two. <laughs> I didn't find the three. So I had to settle for this. Be a cute little surprise for her. So when she gets home from work, she has something to look forward to. This is the most wild wrapping job you will ever see. I don't even know what happened here. This whole thing got covered up. I wanted this to show more, but now it just looks like some crazy design. That's not too bad how big this thing was. I couldn't move it, so I just had to wrap it like this. I didn't even know they sold helium. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of work. I'm so sad the bee popped. Oh, now I was gonna say happy Earth Day. I'm all done here. Not the best. I mean, it's like falling down. It says happy Earth Day. I put the bee right there so she knows I tried. It's the thought that counts and the effort. Well, I hope she likes it. I have to go pick her up from work because I actually dropped her off earlier and I have her car, so we'll be back. I have mojitos on my face. <laughs> no, you're fine. Perfect. Are we gonna sing? We'll sing off camera though. <laughs> you have to sing to me. Okay, I'm gonna give you a lap dance right now too. <laughs>